We have a few words uh, and words of introduction of our guest speaker by a man who no, needs no introduction himself, Mr. Eugene Gluck. <clears throat> Worthy rabbis, esteemed guest speakers, distinguished honorees and members of the dais, fellow board of trustees, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. Another year has passed, and so many of you who attended previous dinners have again graciously and most generously come to the support of this wonderful cause. It is with profound pleasure and deep gratitude that I welcome you all, first timers as well as the core Battelle supporters. Your impressive turnout here tonight is sending a much needed message to the noble and dedicated pioneers, telling them loud and clear to continue their boundless commitment and selfless sacrifices on behalf of the people and the state of Israel. Unfortunately, the struggle is not over. And we cannot help but being terribly distraught about the ongoing situation in Gaza, where we are continually faced with the fanatical group of Hamas, whose only ambition is to kill Israelis and then take over. Recently, the United Nations Cultural Agency, UNESCO, approved the resolution viciously condemning Israel for various alleged trespasses and violations of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. It refers to, to and treats it as exclusively Muslim site, a deliberate attempt to deny its connection to the Jewish people and the Jewish history. Honored guest, Prime Minister Netanyahu told visiting Italian President Sergio Mattarella. Sadly, Palestinian President Abbas continues to refuse to accept a Jewish state in any boundaries. And that remains the core of the conflict. It is wrong to think that the conflict between us and the Palestinians is rooted in the settlements. The conflict preceded the settlements by half a century, and when we left Gaza and all the settlements, they continued to fire rockets at us. Prime Minister Netanyahu asked President Abbas several times would you recognize a Jewish state? Of course, the, everything that Sam was, was assuming we solve the settlement's problems, and they won't, because the real settlement issue is the settlement of Tel Aviv, Yaffa, and Haifa, they want it all. We trust that after the experience in Gaza, the Israeli government will not make any concessions to, God forbid, divide Jerusalem, which could cause it to deteriorate into the terrorist base that Gaza has become. Let us hope the government of Israel has learned from past mistakes and will not repeat them again. Now more than ever, the tenacity and courage 
of the brave pioneers in Beitel is absolutely indispensable. And we certainly must help them to prevail and persevere. The inspiring leader of Beitel, Rabbi Yaakov Ketz, whom we fondly call Ketzler, is here with us tonight. He is, he is the selfless and devoted leader, the true driving force behind the total Betel community. His right-hand man and executive assistant, Baruch Gordon, is a tremendous enhancement <laughs> to his dynamic team. I'll give you a chance. At this time, I would like to ask Ketzler and Baruch to stand up and take a bow. My dear friends, the heroic efforts and the accomplishments of the building of Beitel could not have been realized without the genuine love and generous support of all of you wonderful people. In their name and in the name of all of us who care, we thank you and may God bless you. Honored guests, there are so many important events you can go to this time of the year. Some have entertaining speakers. A select few might have great speakers. But tonight, we have two great statesmen on the same bears. The former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, John Bolton, <laughs> and the Israeli Ambassador to the United Nations, Danny Danon. <laughs> Two extraordinary individuals, both united together to the bright future of Israel and America. <laughs> Ambassador John Bolton is a world-renowned expert on international relations. He has been a key political figure since serving in President Reagan's administrations and culminating as the United States Ambassador to the United Nations under President George W. Bush. <laughs> Ambassador Bolton is a frequent guest speaker on CNN, Fox News, and many other major broadcast networks. Most important, Ambassador Bolton is the chairman of the pro-Israel Gatestone Institute. <laughs> which champions causes for Israel worldwide. Ambassador Bolton said in a statement that shapes his core philosophy, we must be prepared to do whatever it takes to protect the American core values, which are essential not only to us, but to our greatest ally, Israel. We proudly welcome Ambassador John Bolton. Ambassador, please. 